The illness is getting out of hand. If we don't provide medical attention, things could go wrong. Well, thankfully, we're pretty much good in that department. So we'll go okay, and we'll let the medicine basically take care of itself. Welcome to End Zone. My name is Mike B. If the length of this video is pretty short, it's because uh, Declan's going to be done with his uh, with his studies here in a moment. Uh, in a, probably about 30 minutes, and uh, I might have to go and, you know, fix him some lunch and all that good stuff. You know, do dad stuff. Um, so, 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 let's hurry up. Uh, we have a trader approaching, um, and let's see. Prepare plas off plastic automatic radiation suit. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to get our own sulfur, basically. We've already gone through, we've got this research stuff. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to get next. Do we want power? Do we want defensive measures? Do we want, um, coal mining? Which unlocks, let's see, more recently, yeah, more coal than the kiln. Oh, yeah, we wanted to have an upgraded workshop. That's right. Yeah, let's do that. That was the first thing we wanted to do. Does it take two research? It does. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, see how many bodies we have. Um, extra bodies. We have seven extra bodies. Let's go and put them in research. Uh, that should help uh, get some of that stuff going a little bit quicker. More qu quicker. Let's get one here. And then farmer, food, water. Water is okay. Wow, water is actually like, we're just barely holding on to water. That's so weird. Um, technician, I'll go to another technician here just to kind of make sure those tools stay flowing until we get a better uh, better out output facility. And then we want to get some people in research. So there we go, research. So we have two free. That's going to give us 172 free uh, medicine. And I think, yeah, I think what I said I was going to do is build a well out here, right? Instead of have this. And have somebody walk back and forth. Yeah, like we have two people assigned to do this. If I had a well keep, then they wouldn't have to do this. So let's let's demolish this. So what's the point of having a water spot? I mean, you could you could save save on uh, commute, maybe in like a suburban area, right? But hmm. Anyways, water. Uh, well. Oh, it's hefty, hefty boy. Going to do this, boop, and then that'll take care of that. We'll go and uh, put the manpower in. We'll drop that down a little bit. Manpower in to well keep. Oh, we need two actually. Oh boy, just going to drop that down again, huh? We should have. Yeah, we have 32. So Yana is going to be, uh, and then Valentine, Linda, Remy, six hundred of I said, yep, got it. <laughs> I already know this one. Um, you're having problems with what? Uh, let's see, new scrap tool, next scarf, herbs. Yeah, well, that's most of that's gonna be taken care of. Herbs? Hmm. But we'll see. Uh, oh, 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 oh my gosh, she was there. Oh man, oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I looked right at it too, and I was just kind of like, oh, I was like, yeah, so she'll, she'll be showing up soon. I, I totally didn't. The button's down here, not up here. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. She didn't have anything we needed, anyways. Uh, recent perform new technologies. Okay, so now we have the upgraded workshop. So, let's see about size, the look, the, the feng shui, the feng shui. I mean, it should be over here, right? We have two shops here. Oops. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, two workshops here. Just demolish them both. We have enough tools to last us a moment while we do this. Yeah, totally. So let's do it. Let's demolish both. They'll be quick about that. Upgraded workshop. We might be able to squeeze them in, probably in the same locations. Look at that. Oh, that is a beaut! I'm so glad they made that the same size. Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really nice of them. Uh, now, in terms of personnel. Technician, 10. Woo! They want more. It's fine, I guess. What's the next thing we're going to research? <gasps> Diligence. Ooh. Uh, all settlers increase the durability of their tools and clothing by 25%, but move slower. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's a... Uh... Yeah, no, we don't want that. Um, why can't I get this? Oh, because I need two. Yeah, 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 I need two. Uh, upgrade tension produce clothing and still radiation. It employs more tailors and works more efficiently than a normal tailor shop. So yeah, it costs more people, but it also works more efficiently. Hmm. Uh, solar collector. At some point, we're going to have to do power. It may not be this episode, though. Kind of want to start to expand onto other areas here. Better protection against sandstorms. Let's see. 
Maybe we should do a hemp weaving mill. Cloth from hemp. Because we could grow it, right? And then we can weave it instead of relying on scrap all the time. Eventually we're going to run out of scrap. Uh, coal mining. That's what we'll do. <laughs> I just got to bounce around all over the place. There we go. Five settlers have come of age. Water is still. I mean, I think we should set up another water something. That well keep should be good out here. Oh, where's it at? Oh, wow, that's how far it is. <laughs> oh, I already have a well out here. <laughs> I already had a well out here. What the heck? Did that make two? Okay, dang it. Why don't you guys stop me? I said I was going to do that before, and I guess I just forgot that I built it. So dumb. Um, well, that's one less well keep. We could probably put that somewhere else. Put that to good use somewhere. Because uh, we do need water. Like, I, I don't like that our water is remaining stagnant here. Eventually, we'll get to the tipping point where that's going to start to deplete. Uh, let's look at our graph real quick and see specifically what that looks like. Water. Yeah, see? We're, we're just cruising right now. Just cruising. So, yeah, we need to uh, rethink this a little tiny bit. We have a well right here. We have rain, rain, no rain, no rain's coming. Uh, Uncontaminated rain. We have, we have some rain coming. Um, but we need to put a well down. So let's go water. And we'll say a well. Can I squeeze that boy in there? Sure can't. Oh, 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 God, all the pain. Agony. <laughs> let's see. Oh, I just want to squeeze him in somewhere. Now within his circle. That's too far. Um... <clears throat> does that actually show the other ones? No, it does not. That's one right there. That's a well, right? Yeah, that's a well. They have their own well out here. Maybe they're fine. Right? Like... They're not even full yet. And they're gonna... They will get f full. But let's keep an eye on the fire that we have instead of building another one. I don't feel like maybe we don't necessarily have to. Oh, irrigation plant. That's right. So it increases the soil moisture. That's right. That's what we need. That was the thing I was talking about that would help make the... Make it moist. Remember I was making creepy moist sounds? Yes. It doesn't have to necessarily be right here. But it should be around. Oh, somebody just arrived. Um, but it should be somewhere nearby. So what we'll do is we'll do this. Irrigation plants. Two workforce. Da, 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 da. Cool. Let them do that. Let me see. Slow down. Wow. Look at this one. Oh. Ah. Uh, the old bones, hey? Hey, don't stare like that. Or do you like what you see? <laughs> but old T. Barry even got much better things in store. I know how to make customers happy. Take your time, look around. I'm sure we'll do business with each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Madison Close Hemp. Um, let me see. We have no hemp. We're good on everything else, really. Um... And we see all we saw a lot of joints. I don't know what these guys are not. I guess I guess they don't just take joints out of storage. The pub has to be configured to actually support giving them the joints. So let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and just take all of her hemp here. And let's see what she considers to be a fair deal. Ooh, okay. My scrap is running low somehow. What is this? Iodine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh iodine tablets. Wow, she's Okay, let's, um, I don't want to give her too much. I mean, this is what my, uh, mush oh, my shrooms? Oh, you know what? Probably deal with some of that. Like 500 of those. Then we'll bring down the, uh, amount of hemp. What does she say here? Curious. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and see what she says here. What? <laughs> <laughs> what a shameless offer. Hmm. Well, I never. <laughs> Don't get any bright ideas that a pretty face is payment enough all by itself. I've got a business to run. <laughs> oh, T. Barrow won't forget an impertinent gesture like this. Oh, let's try this one. Oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. So we could we could really hook her up, and then maybe we'll get better prices or something. Hmm. Oh, no. That won't work. After all, t Barra has to survive somehow. Ah, if you're serious about this, then I'll have to give it some considerable thought about whether I stop by here again. 
Uh-huh, so that's the problem. If we rip them off, they're not gonna come by. So, if I do this, you know, just, just over into this range here. <laughs> Old T. Barra knew all along we speak the same language. That would truly be a good tree. Now, if she had T. electronics would or something... throw in a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> For free. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Doesn't it matter. doesn't matter. Okay, let's just throw it down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we want her to come back. We want to keep it fair. Um, but she doesn't really have anything I necessarily want right now. So. Ah, that sounds it's certainly not a kiss. A nice, agreeable deal. And with such a good-looking gym to boot. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But hurry up. Even though I'd love to stick around to show you the added advantages of making a deal with O.T. Barra, nonetheless, <laughs> duty calls. Oh, man. She's hilarious. All right. <laughs> so, our uh, irrigation plant's going to get built. How long have I had that in there? Probably a good long while, right? Um, we have research being researched. Speed things up a little bit. Uh, we have a no rain, a couple of no rain seasons. It's gonna hurt our uh, our everything. Uh, this is also gonna use water, so we have to be careful with this. We're gonna use it, and we're gonna see how much output it actually does against all odds. Oh, what is this? Uh, let's see, survival total. Oh, 150. Woo woo! 150. Celebrate! <laughs> we did it. Our, our wood supply seems to be doing pretty good. We have these guys out here hustling. Barter trades been closed. Go to the barter a better deal. Last part trade deal closed. Yeah, sure. Um, scrapping wood. Good. And this guy is just... Uh, oh, so they're pulling water to... Hold up. You're not part of this crew. Where's the... Taking water over here, it looks like. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's your wood output here? 28, 28, 24. Eesh. Not great. <laughs> Not great, but you know. Uh, we did activate the mine. Let's see where that goes. Ooh, lad, we could put it right, right in. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I don't want to get too close. So put it over here. I'd, I'd like to put it over here if I can. But there's so much crap in the way. It's getting close. Slow things down a little bit. 100% efficiency. Yeah, I don't want to put it... See, like, this is, like, this is a great spot for it, but it's also, like, right up in their hunting space. I think over here is probably going to be the best bet. Oops. Yeah, we can't go too deep like that, and we need to have it out, jutting out just enough. So I think, uh, if we could get it to connect right there. Not ideal, not amazing. How about this road? There we go, at least we can line it up there. It says efficiency 100%. And they don't have to go too far in order to get the stuff delivered. Let's go and get our logistics down. There we go. And that's it. Drought coming. Nobody available to work. We should have people. Yeah, we have four people available. No miners. We'll get like one miner, two miner. Now, if that outputs more than the charcoal kiln, or the coal, yeah, charcoal kiln, then we can probably save on wood that way. Um, but we'll have to see what the output of this actually is once it's built. I think I'll actually say over here. Maybe the maximum output or something. It does not. Okay. Research window. Let me see. We need three for solar collector. And then what, how much for batteries? Two. So five is what we're looking at here. Sturdy house. The settlers can live and get birth. Austrian building can stand up better than the sandstorms. I mean, eventually, yeah, but I feel like that's, a, that's just a lot of, of work <laughs> to replace all these houses. 
The sooner we do it, the better. Better, right? Trader has arrived. Oh, okay. We've got another trader. Oh, hey, she's back. Cool. Uh, Hi split. there. Ah. I'm Susan Melfi, meteorologist and flying saleswoman for a versatile number of uh, versatilities. I have a whole range of things your settlement can definitely make good use of. Maybe we could do some business, huh? All right, Lucy Lou. Let's go ahead and take some of the electronics. Uh, how are we doing on uh, suits? Okay, we could take some of those too. And don't need a hemp, a plastic. How are we doing on plastic? Uh, okay, we can take a few. Take a few. Uh, this, uh, tools, nah, we're okay on tools. And then she wants what? Oh, she's gonna take the joints. Oh, damn, okay, so she could take all the joints. You know what, though? She could take all the joints, that's fine. Minus 20, huh? How's that work? Like, I owe you? <laughs> um, iodine. I don't want to rip her off because she's got some good stuff. Water. Not a ton of water. Great. You can't give her, like, all of your water. It's, like, a little less than 10, about 10%. So, let's see what she says. Curious. Because I got to do this. Mm. I'm sorry, but under these kinds of circumstances, I can't do any bartering deal with Okay. Her. Please, don't get me wrong, but if I want to keep on running my business, I have to see to it that I at least make a little profit. I hear you. Oh my gosh. Let's see what she says here. That sounds like a good offer, my friend. If we're able to agree on this deal, in the future, maybe I'll even bring along useful, um, more wonderful merchandise for you. <laughs> I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if that's actually the case that she'll bring some special thing. Huh. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give that a shot and see what happens. I mean, it's going to take a good chunk of wood. An IOU on wood, apparently. Um, let's go ahead and lower this down a little bit. That's what she thinks is fair. Oh, hold on. She adjusts the uh, these things too? Yeah, I don't want that. Or, or just the plastic. Okay, and then we'll bring this down to... So we're not in the negatives, I guess? And then she could take some more... Weed. Iodine we don't have. And cloth. Oh, it's because it's stuff that's not in the inventory. That's what it is. This is all the stuff that's in the inventory itself. So let's do that. We'll see if she gives us if next time she comes by. Because this is her second time here, so maybe we'll see her again. That sounds like a good offer, my friend. If we're able to agree on this deal. It could just future, be flavor text, maybe right? It totally could be, and it just means that they'll come by more often, but she has electronics too, so we kinda want that. Okay, so, how's this field doing? 650, woo! So yeah, food-wise, we're doing stellar. Absolutely stellar. Okay, we gotta change the the area here. So what is this irrigation? A little high water consumption. We're doing per season. Okay, we could suffer that. Wow, 300 per season? That's nothing. Um, oh, it only does in the area around it. So it must be like a sprinkler system of some sort. Does it impact this one over here? I guess we could check the water levels. Well, right now it's a rainy season, so we'll have to wait for the drought, and then we'll see what its real in influence is. How's everybody? Happy? Happy? Happy. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Like I said before, we're gonna build a couple of houses, or not houses, sorry, uh, shelters, um, out here just to start expanding along the waterfront and also providing living quarters for people that'll be working out here. Um, this will free up space for those that are, um, trying to make babies. By getting the grandparents out the house. How hard to make babies when the grandparents live in the house, man. Ah, look at this. Look at this right here. Wow. Okay, so it's not, it's not like, it's not just like, okay, this one's getting water, therefore it's all going to be irrigated. It actually is a sphere of influence. Or a circle of influence. Let's take a look at the numbers again, because we're going into drought here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's because we're using uh, non-radiated liquid to uh, water this. So we need to find a better better place for that, really. Well, or actually we build another one over here to overlap and to correct this. But um, this is what we really want to look at. Look at this. So here we go. It trashes it. Moisture, dry it out. Okay. So I think this has to stay because it's going to give us full coverage over here with the wheat. Uh, with the, um, the tomatoes. We'll have to put another one. 
Damn. Ideally, what we should do is actually trim down this orchard a little bit. Like, trim it down, just, and then we, we squeeze it in, like, right here in the middle, and then they'll take care of this whole area. I think that's what we'll do. The orchard is, you know, it's producing, uh, you know, pretty well, but we're also, like, super good on food, so I think we're fine for, in that regard. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take this. Let's go ahead and tell them to, uh, to harvest and cut down trees. They'll take care of all that. I think if we demolish it, it'll probably just take everything. Let me see. Yield, wood yield from trees, 8 out of 48. Radiation, I know, I know. That's crazy. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. It just disappears. Pretty neat. Look at the grass in the area. Okay, and then we'll go food. Orchard. I wonder if I should put an orchard here or if I should put another cultivated field. Well, first let's put the water, the, the irrigation plant down. Irrigation plants. See, look at that. That's what we want. That's perfect. Then we're not building like two or three of these damn things. Um, we're coming out of the season too, so we can go ahead and tell them to demolish this in a minute. As soon as it starts raining. Oh, okay, get rid of that. Then the new one will be built. And we can start to build around this now. Food. Uh, what do we have left in terms of... Let me see, two seeds. We only have one, two, three. Okay, yeah, we'll go and get a... a Orchard up. Oh no. Good, good, good. It's measured nicely. Is there a gap there they can walk between? I guess they could walk between the dam. I don't know. We'll do this. We'll shorten it a little bit. Just make sure there's a gap all the way around where they can walk. And then, once they get that done, which they're getting it done super fast, yeah, they can walk right through it, so I guess it's not the big of a deal. Who doesn't love walk walking through an orchard? Good. Now you need a seed. Oh, I chose cultivated field anyways. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine, because uh, we're going to get hemp soon. So, um, right? Wheat. Tomato. What are the other options? Hold on. Uh, we got beans, didn't we? Oh. Okay. Yeah, hemp. Okay, so let's, let's, we'll, we'll leave this as is, and we'll just have it make, um, what's the yield here? It's 100, 178. Uh, this one, 88, 121. 650, man, that's a lot. Like, that's a freaking lot. So let's just go and go with that. And then this could basically keep an eye on all that. Um, you know what we could do? Actually, let's do this since this is now out of out of uh, operation. We'll go and kill that. That way we have a nice little compact area here, and then we could expand uh, out further. So this will this will still remain balanced in terms of food income. Uh, water income is looking pretty pretty tight right now, but that's for obvious reasons because we had a drought. So build this next. They're working on it. plastic. Is what you're short on, huh? Let me see that. How's this doing? Scrap. Okay, I see people walking over here, so... <clears throat> Probably click scrap over here. Such a long trip. Nobody's working here. <gasps> How do we know people? Ooh! Well, hopefully when this gets done... We'll be able to expand and get some more people in. But yeah, our workforce is kind of slim. Most people are working in logistics. And research. How's our research doing? None yet. Sick folks. Just told not to worry about it. Um, resources are being transported to the trading posts. Okay, so they're working on this still. I guess there's some stuff that um, was not currently available. I guess they hold on forever, huh? I mean, she's been here for seasons. Like, through the entire drought, I think. So the water is taking a minute. How's our water people? Too, they're too short. Oops. So let's take some away. I mean, right now, nobody's working, so... The fact that it keeps capping at 10,000 makes me feel like my resources are capped at 
The resource limit, production limit is set at that. But it's not, it's 90,000. <laughs> we just happen to be balancing it almost perfectly. There we go, that's what we need. I wonder if we can get away with um, just medium amount of water to keep this one moist. Let's try this. What's the difference? It saves a little bit on water. Okay, water dropped. By, I'm guessing that's because they filled her up. Yeah, they topped her off. So she's she's gonna take off in a minute. We're gonna have a whole bunch of electronics left over. How is this doing? I gosh, I did this and I didn't even pay attention to it. Um, scrap my whole cut. <laughs> that's what happens. You don't pay attention. They're working at half efficiency in terms of people as well. We can afford to give them two more. There. Is there another workshop? Hold on. One, two, seven. Eight should be... Hold on. Should be at eight. Technician. Uh, oh, I think hold five each. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's bring back the scrap collectors a little bit. So we got some free folks over here. The free folks. Uh, shelter's been built. Nobody lives there yet. You're waiting for ruins. Oh, that's right. There's plenty of that. How's this doing? I'm trying to balance so much stuff here. Oh, we got plenty of ruins. Whoa. Yeah, it's going to take forever. Forever. So no rain, no rain, no rain, mildly contaminated rain. That's going to hurt us for our water supply, actually. Um, <clears throat> so, I think we should build another water cistern over here. We have people here. They're going to start moving in. So we can put a water here, water tower next to the well. And then have people, water tower, here we go. Just basically run back and forth from a dock. A jetty. There we go. Oh, no, 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 and then crap water, and then no rain again, and then drought. So this is this is a painful period we're coming up on right now. Uh, it's a good thing we have this uh, the water and irrigation plant running to keep that uh, to keep that going. But yeah, we're gonna have to get some water out of this lake. I wonder if you notice how the water level is low. I wonder if it actually recedes and all that during uh, uh, during no rain seasons. What up, kid? Ah. <clears throat> uh. I'm done with my math. You're done with your math? Is there anything else left? Nope. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and, and uh, turn on the shower, let the water get warm, okay? And then hop in, get scrubbing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go scrub your own ass. Let's see. Uh, still waiting, huh? What do we need to join? She needs a joint? I thought we... I thought we... Oh, no! Oh no! Can you make some? Good, make some. What do you need? Oh, I need hemp. Do we have any of that? I think we got some from... We do. Okay, okay, okay. God, thank God they wait forever. Yeah, switch it up, man. Make a joint. Make a joint. Well, it's good that we took a glance at that. Jeez. Anyway, water level. Wonder if that's a thing. <laughs> How's the mine doing? Oh, everything is uh, needing metal, metal, metal. Metal is here. It's just probably logistics, getting the metal moved. Probably working on other things other than that right now. Look how dry everything is. Look at that. Three seasons of no rain. Again, thank God, you know, we just happened to jump on this when we did. There they go. Alright, so we have electronics, we have all that good stuff. We have 103 electronics. 
when we start building our power stuff, let's go, let's go look at electricity. Um, the power poles and all that, like this all costs. So stocking up electronics makes perfect sense right now. As a matter of fact, let's make sure our limit on electronics is not capped because we're going to be spending the shit out of that when the time comes. Okay, well, I'll search for it then. Electronics. Yeah, see? Like, we just... <laughs> just so many of those, please. Alright. So who's building what next? This is being collected for. This is being collected for. Well, you know. Um, scrap. Let's just pull from over here. Oops, uh, not there. Um, one of these. What happened? Yeah, I'll come dry. Yes, yes, yes. Blind. I'm like, where's my scrapyard? Interesting location with 450. Yeah. This is a long trip over here. These guys are going all over the place, actually. Donut! Oh my gosh, come here! Come here! You scared the crap out of me. Come here! Right here. You stay. You stay. This is punishment. For barking. <laughs> he has to stay next to me. And he's such a good dog, he'll do it. Hey, no sneaking away! I spoke too soon. Come here! Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, he was right there. Good boy. Sit. Sit. You stay. You stay there. I thought he was sneaking away. He was just getting comfortable. Uh, no barking. Alright, so let's build this, let's build this. Then I'm gonna make sure that boy actually scrubs his ass right. He's eight years old. It's a terrible job, I'm sure. Uh, into a drought we go. Here, short, shortly. I guess it's gonna be another start the next episode off in a drought. You're heartbroken and you're unhealthy. You'll be fine. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna look. We have 12 people. Uh oh. Well, this is an interesting looking fella. Oh, young lady, Lizzie, Rasmus, what do you have? Hey, I hope the sleazy settlement has stuff I can do something with. At any rate, it's your lucky day because Lizzie Rasmus is precisely what you pitiful little ones are looking for. Uh, does she though? Let's see, coal. Could use some more coal. Don't really need any more beers. We're making uh, joints now. Well, just temporarily at least. Decontamination kits are fine. I could, I could use some of this coal temporarily. Let me see, what does she want for this? Water. Medicine, we're producing the crap out of medicine. Yo, there we go. You're not exactly making the best impression. With those long faces, it's already about as low as it gets. Come on, shove that stuff over here before I get second thoughts. What? No, 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 no. There. Alright. Well. I think this is a good stopping point. We're gonna let this uh, let this cook for a little bit, get this thing built, built, and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna go scrub this boy. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. End zone, a world apart. We're gonna get into electricity age very soon. You're such a good boy, Donut. Thank you for waiting. Have a good one. Bye.